Welcome to my channel. My name is Tan. If you're new, in today's video, we have a unit that was sent over from Jessie's Wig. Now, I've heard really good things about this company before on TikTok, and this is my first time ever working with this company. But I just want to let it be known that even though I am working with them, all thoughts and opinions of the unit are my own. They sent over their 556 Pre Cut Glueless HD Lace Balayage Highlighted Honey Blonde Straight Wig in 24 inches. The cap construction for this unit comes with three combs in total one in the back, the other two are at the front, one on each side. It also comes with a pre attached elastic band that you can adjust and or remove if you choose to do so. Something I really like about this elastic band is the fact that it has like a silicone grip side and then just your regular standard elastic side to it on the silicone grip side that part is supposed to go against the nape of your neck to I guess help ensure that the unit doesn't move out of place instead of just attaching a simple or a basic silicone strip they do have it in like a groove type of method I don't know it's just the little details for me another cute little detail is the fact that they do have a tag in the back of the unit that says Jesse's wig so you know how if you have a lot of units sometimes we might forget where the unit came from you won't be forgetting with this one. This unit is offered in multiple different laces. Like I stated earlier, I do have the 5x6, but they do also offer it in a 13x4 and a 4x4 as well. The density on each unit will be 180% density. When it comes to the lengths offered for this unit, they do offer it from a 14 all the way down to a 24 inch. And currently they have $100 off at checkout on the 24 inch. Some of the main selling points for this particular unit is that it's supposed to come with pre-cut lace, have a pre-plugged hairline, and also have pre-bleached knots. Now, whenever I put the unit on the mannequin head, it's definitely looking like that. But of course, things may or may not change when I actually install the unit. Online, this is how the unit is being portrayed, and then this is how the unit is looking in person. In my opinion, I'm going to say that both of the units look very similar. I don't want to say exactly the same because, let's be real, not any two dye jobs are the exact same but you can tell this is for sure the same quote unquote unit. <laughs> the texture of this unit is very silky straight like it's so silky straight to where I don't necessarily know if it would be able to hold a curl. Now am I going to try to find out if it's going to hold a curl? Absolutely not because I haven't done a bone straight moment in a while. I'm trying to think no I've been doing a lot of curly units lately so yeah I'm going to keep her in her straight state <laughs> but yeah that's enough of me jacking my jaws i'm gonna go ahead and install this unit and then of course i'll come back with my final thoughts
Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about this unit from Jessie's wig. The unit is absolutely beautiful. In all honesty, it actually surpassed my expectations. Typically, whenever I hear pre-cut, pre-plucked, and pre-bleached, I'm just knowing that one or maybe all three or maybe two out of the three, something is going to be off. When they said pre-cut lace, they really meant pre-cut lace. And it's not the like rounded type of lace. It's like really jagged. So therefore, it's going to look very realistic whenever you place the unit on your head when they say pre-plugged i feel like they plugged it just enough in my opinion there can be some units that are under plugged and it's saying pre-plugged and then there can be some units that are over plugged although i don't think i've had an over plugged unit just yet but i have had under plugged units whenever it says pre-plugged for me personally this unit came plugged to perfection when it says pre-bleached knots this is the part where i was just like i just know i'm gonna have to go in and bleach these knots to my surprise again i did not have to do that whatsoever this is a unit that i would truly define as a beginner friendly unit it's one of those units to where you can actually take it out of the box of course tint your lace because everybody needs to tint their lace to their skin tone and then plop the unit on your head of course also go through and run a flat iron through the unit that way you can get that bone straight look but this is truly a beginner friendly unit for this unit to be labeled as 180 percent density straight unit i would say that it is for sure 180 80%. I've had some straight units that are labeled as 180 and then in reality they're feeling more so like 150 ish because the unit is 180 percent density obviously it's not like super thick or anything like that but it's also not super thin but it is very breathable with the balayage highlights I can't lie when I first took it out of the package I was just like mm. I'm not really liking it. I'm not really feeling it. I would like a whole lot less highlights. Now that I've installed the unit and I have her on, I'm actually feeling it, which I'm actually surprised about. I don't know why this unit is surprising me in every which way for some reason, but the highlights are not as bad or not as much as I thought that they were initially. Because there are so many highlights within this unit, I personally would like to wear this unit with, you know, something simple like the top I'm wearing right now, something black, something white, just keep it very simple just because even though the unit is straight I don't know I feel like it's kind of doing a lot not really kind of sort of if you know you know <laughs> as far as tangling and shedding is concerned I'm not really getting any tangles but when it comes to shedding I am getting a few strands here and there it's not a whole lot it's nothing to be alarmed about or anything like that or at least for me it isn't but it is something worth mentioning. The one con that I do want to mention about this unit, and I don't think it's going to be with every single unit. I think it's just with this particular unit. One of my combs here in the back is like sticking out. So I'm probably going to cut that comb out because let's be real, I don't even use my combs anyway. I just use the one that's in the very back. So I'll end up cutting it out so I don't have to worry about it, but it is sticking out. You can't see it, but I can definitely feel it. <laughs> As for the lace on this unit, number one, it's melting beautifully, which I absolutely love and appreciate. But number two, for this to be a five by six unit, keep in mind you are going to get six inches going across the front and then five inches going straight back for the parting space. I'm here for these bigger closure units. Don't get me wrong, a four by four is cute and all, but whenever somebody offers a four by six or a six by four or a five by six or six by five, whichever they want to do, I'm always going to pick the bigger option just because if I don't necessarily want to deal with a full-on frontal I want to have something that's semi close to it and sometimes I feel like a 4x4 can just be a tad bit too small with these type of units especially this 5x6 I don't know I just feel like I have more than enough room to part or do some type of cute updo if I wanted to do that but at the same time still enough room to wear it's covering enough on my forehead and then my edges are still out. I hope I'm even making sense when I say this. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about this unit. So thank you so much again to Jessie's Wig for sending over this unit for me to review. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel before you leave and also make sure you click the bell that way you're notified anytime that I upload a video. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. They're both at Tan Dotson. I'll be sure to have all of the information for this unit down in the description box below. So make sure you check that out. I don't have anything else to say though except for I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.